All right, guys, today we're gonna be tuning up the planer. Now, this is a DeWalt 735, so it should have most of the same settings as a lunchbox planer. We're gonna get the beds cleaned up, we're gonna get the rollers cleaned up, and we're gonna get those knives checked to make sure that there's no nicks or anything like that. We can adjust those. So first, let's get this cleaned up and get a nice thin layer of paste wax on the beds. Just make sure you watch your hands under here because there are blades and obviously it goes without saying, make sure this thing is unplugged. So now that the beds are all cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a dry film lubricant to the post so they slide a little easier. So I'm gonna take off the top and take a look inside to see if anything needs to be blown out in there. This is a closed system, so it shouldn't have a whole bunch of sawdust and stuff in there. But if there is, we can go ahead and blow that out and take a look at the blades. And there's gonna be this little lock that latches up and down that in order to turn the blades, you're gonna have to push down. Watch your fingers, the blades are very sharp and you don't wanna cut yourself. Work on the blades, we're just going to take out all of the screws that hold the blade in place. And I like to use this little tray at the top here just to hold all of my screws while I'm working to keep them organized. Now, the back of the DeWalt tool has these two little magnets on here, which are super convenient because they let you pick up the blades this way, as well as when you get to the actual blade itself, this tool lets you pick up the blade without actually touching them because they're obviously really sharp. This blade doesn't actually need to be replaced. I've actually just replaced it, but I just wanted to show this for our demonstration purposes that there's two sides to the blade so you can rotate them if there's any issues. And then when you're taking the blades in and putting them out, there's also these indexing pins on either end, here and here. If you have any points of your blades that have a nick or have a chip, you can offset these blades one side or the other. This way it doesn't exacerbate the issue. But once you have this blade replaced and put in the right spot, you just take your bracket, place it back onto your blade, and then drop in all of your screws and the blade will be indexed back in place. Now you can sharpen these blades, but they're really long and they don't really cost that much. So I would just recommend just buying a new set and replacing them whenever you need to replace your blades. If you choose to sharpen them, that is completely something you can do. So now we're just gonna drop all these screws back in and make sure we show you how to rotate this thing. To rotate these blades, you wanna make sure you suppress this lock here and then you can rotate the blades nice and easily. So just press down on the lock, rotate your blades and then you'll have access to all three. And the other thing I'd say is you don't really need to worry about lubricating this chain or anything because all you're going to do is cause a lot more gunk to get caught in the chain. So I would just leave it as is. Just make sure you blow it off really well and you should be good to go. So with the dust port, you can blow that out. And then one other thing that I just wanted to bring up is I've noticed that a lot of people have issues with the way that this extracts dust. What I've used is one of these little elbows on the end of my dust collection, and it allows for the hose to run on the outside of the outfeed table so that it's not getting in the way and running into your boards. So this is a little tip for planing. Now I'll just put all everything back together. All right, so next we're gonna use a little simple green and I'm just gonna clean off the rollers while the planer's up. So just be careful and watch your hands, watch your fingers. And once you clean off the rollers, you can uh, turn the planer on and it'll rotate the rollers so you can get the next section. All right, so next we're gonna check the in-feed and out-feed tables to make sure that they're parallel to the table in the middle. And to do that, I'm just gonna use a long straight edge. I'm gonna run it all the way through the planer to both ends. Just check that they sit flush. And I can see right here that this one is not sitting level. So we're going to adjust this table so that it does sit level. And to adjust these, I'm just using these two screws here. So now that we got the in-feed table all flat, let's check the out-feed table. And this side of the outfeed table looks pretty good. And that one needs to be raised up a little bit. Now our tables 
are all parallel. Oh, wait, actually, this one could come up a little bit. The last thing to check are your stops. If you wanna check your depth gauge, that's a great idea as well. But what I'm gonna do is just check the turret stops. There's a number of stops on the turret on this planer and the stop correlates into this lower stop down here. If any of these stops are off, you can take this nut and loosen it and then adjust the height of this stop to correct for where you need it to be to match your one inch or your one and a quarter inch marks on your turret. Mine were off on mine originally. My one inch stops were actually 15 16 So I adjusted this here and got that all back in line. So I'm not gonna adjust that in the video, but I just wanna point that out that that's a good thing to check out. All right guys, so that should get your planer in tip top shape for those extra smooth boards. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Watch the next video in this series right here and I'll see you next time.